Wesley and Sarah live in a house that's been in her family since 1963 on land that's been in her family forever. This is Hill Country, as in the last name Hill. The house that we bought is uh, my grandmother's house, my dad's mom. They've been living there for six years now. My parents are next door, my cousin's across the street. This is the Hill House. This is my grandmother's house. Every childhood memory I have happened in this yard. Wow. When my grandmother passed away, we moved in several years later. Her grandfather built a house here. That house burned. Her dad and her grandfather were both burned so bad in the fire that they had to go to Mobile to the burn center. And while they were gone, the community came together and started rebuilding them a house, the house that Sarah and Wesley live in today. We would love for this to be the place that people wanted to come again and get that feeling that we all had when it was Granny's house. It's an heirloom. It is. It is. And the house is very well built. Yeah. As you know, the house is three bedrooms, one bathroom, almost 1,500 square feet. Built in 1963. What are we going to do to this house? Well, the outside looks great. The landscaping is fantastic. Granny planted the rose bushes in the azalea. Those plants have to stay. They're heirloom plants in your heirloom yard. Yeah. What do you want to change? I would really like a better door, something made of wood. You don't want to change much, so I didn't change much. <laughs> <laughs> that door is nice. Look at those window boxes. You got window boxes and new lights on the porch. I love that. New sconces that are just a little bit bigger, yeah. I think, would be nice. A front door that lets the light in. I love that. So out here, $5,000. What is that? That What's looks a little different, there? doesn't it? Carport changes. Yeah, I want to go through the house, and then we'll get there. All right. Home sweet home. It's so empty looking since you moved everything out. We are going to get started on it this afternoon, so I appreciate that. This galley is the bane of my existence. I feel like the room is just really long. The lights are somehow emphasizing that. I was at work one day, and I guess Wesley went to either a school cafeteria or a hospital <laughs> and asked them if they had any All extra right. lights. I was at a big box store. And three for one. Saving money and lighting the space. That's what you did. Look at those things. It's like flying saucers. I mean, they're fantastic. <laughs> it's very modern. The lights in the house, I have wanted to change since seconds after I saw them. It's been simmering under the surface for me. <laughs> what else would make your living room better? I really wish we had a fireplace. Yeah. We could build you a mantle fireplace with gas log insert right here on this wall. Awesome. But my favorite part of this is building you a cased opening between the window and that door to the carport, and we get rid of the door. That would break up your living room and the dining area. Do you want to talk about the kitchen? Yes. Yes. Let's go break those spaces up yeah. a little more. I want these floors to die a horrible death. I want every bit of it gone. I dream of walking in here and seeing brick floors. Brick floors are one of the greatest ways to give you a really cozy, timeless, and distinctly Southern, I think, flooring. Mm -hmm. You need a lot of counter space, and you need more seating for when people come over. Yeah. Hang with me, OK? OK. I want to get rid of that back door. Your kitchen could wrap and cover the entire back wall with blue and white cabinetry. You'll have a much bigger window with a sink centered under the window. We'd make a new door here that would give you access to the carport and the backyard. And this window goes away where your refrigerator and pantry would be. Have your range here, where it is now, with a hood vent above it. We would lean into a traditional Southern style and we could put down those brick floors that you've been dreaming of. And then we come out with a peninsula. You would have more seating, and it will give you a little more division between the kitchen and dining room. You could have lots of entertaining opportunity if you had a peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Well, there was a peninsula there. Yeah. But I took it down. Shug said it got to go. <laughs> so I've never known more that I don't know what I'm doing. Went from a but box. I took that out, put an island in, and now that's exactly what should have been there the whole time. So I'm sorry to my granny. Grandmas knew what they were doing as no. far as having lots of people over to eat. Yeah. I don't hate peninsulas. I have wonderful memories. What does it cost to cozy this up? Uh, front door to back wall. Including brick floors. Including brick floors, 65 grand. OK. All right. We need. Another bathroom. When family is over, I have to create a bathroom schedule. You when, don't get a little when stiffy, do you? 
Only to you. We need our laundry connected to the house so we don't have to go outside. A mud area for him to drop all of his stuff off when he comes inside every day so it's not on our dining table. I'm still gonna put it in there. <laughs> all right. Hope you enjoyed that door. That's the last time you're gonna walk through it. That one's gone too. Uh-huh. But I wanna know more about, what do you use this for? Anything? We use that for laundry, storage, OK, so this is where you had the washer and dryer before you moved it all out. Yes, ma'am. I really appreciate the intent and purpose of this, but I think we can improve upon it. We got to get rid of all this. You don't need that door we just used either. And we're going to build a brand new wall right about here because you'll get out of your car and you'll come in through a door right here. And you can go into your kitchen through a door that'll be right here. And then you'll have a door that goes to your back porch. This will be a mudroom, and you'll have storage for dog stuff. Behind that, you will have a full bathroom. Yes. For when you have company. But wait, there's more. A laundry room with a washer dryer, room for an extra fridge, and then we'll have a really big closet behind this bathroom. Like a storage closet? Uh-huh. So we could, it could be a Christmas closet. Could be a Christmas. That's exactly what I would use it for. That's yes. the dream. Christmas is big with us. Big, big. I know you're into Christmas, but I'm the Christmas king. Really? Shug, I don't want to take that from you, but fired. I am the Christmas king. But do you listen to it every day year round? Mmm. Because when he's like cutting the grass, his phone will automatically connect to my car if I'm leaving. And he'll be like, God rest you, Mary. <laughs> I think you might have been dethroned. <laughs> there can only be one Christmas king. If you don't listen to Christmas music from the moment you wake up every morning, every single day of the year of your life, you can't be the Christmas king. When you say it that way, it sounds sort of crazy, but it's not, it's not. It's not. So out here, 35 grand, okay? So but that's walk. the best 35 grand you ever spent. Yeah. We spend all of our free time out here. It's so nice. You're up here high on a hill. Get a breeze. This is mm -hmm. an awesome back porch. Yeah, we love it. They want maximum enjoyment of their back porch. That's where they spend all their time. We would like an outdoor kitchen. Yes. Well, we have a plan. Yeah. What if these were accordion opening windows? Oh, wow. To pass things through. Hey, Shug, you got that corn ready? Hello. <laughs> It'd be so great. And then we could build that outdoor kitchen that you wanted right okay. here under the roof, a brick run of cabinets with a stone countertop and a sink built in with a row of seating on the other side. You gonna nice. make me grill a lot more now, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> so back here, $15,000, which brings the grand total to the $120,000 you asked us to work with. Amazing. We gotta get started now and a dumpster's about to arrive. Yeah, so so y'all gotta, gotta go to Mama's house. Yeah. Okay. Get on out of here. Yay! Go see what Mama's cooking for lunch. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. We need to measure the end of the new kitchen because we're going to take the floor up, and this will all be brick. This is one of those situations where I appreciate this flooring material. I picked up a section the size of a pickup truck. It was so satisfying. It's really hot out here, though, and we've got a lot of hard demo to do outside. Jackhammering bricks, tearing down walls. Taking out cabinets in that utility room. I'm not looking forward to it. I want to stay inside. Oh, okay. Get it. Get in there. Don't get drop in. the the top of the door. Top of the door. Hey, okay. guys. Good job, everybody. Nice. Here, I'll pull it. Ah. What's up? It's not a door yet exactly, but it could be a door. We're getting there. Today, all that old brick we saved when we took down the utility room wall is going back up as a patch in the hole that went to the dining room. Ooh, 
This is cool. Looking good. Yeah. The outdoor kitchen. It's being built. It's going to be painted to match the rest of the house. It'll look like Sarah's grandmother always had an outdoor kitchen. She was way, way ahead of her time. And the patching looks great. I said, don't be down. Now the sun has come around. And I said, all the drywall work is basically done. Holes have been patched. And the addition is, I mean, finished. Yeah, we have a Christmas decoration closet. So soon there'll be paint. And then there'll be Patterson's. Yeah. Patch, paint, Patterson's. Having quality trim on new openings is what makes new construction or renovation feel seamless. It has to make sense with the era of the house. And in the 60s, we have more narrow trim that's going in the cased opening. The ceilings are only eight feet in this house. And so without having that big, chunky trim, it doesn't feel like the ceilings are really low. It just feels natural. It's kind of like we got two houses going on here. We've got countertops going on inside and countertops being installed outside. A lot of plumbing going on at the Patterson's today. We've got it in the kitchen and sink, and then in the new addition and the outdoor kitchen. All the plumbing, all at once. We're keeping as much of grandma's flowers and plants as we can, but we did have to lose an azalea. It's tough to kill an azalea. I might have to talk with old Shug about that. That one wasn't right. That one turned. That one turned on us. <laughs> Houses that have been passed down, it's like a magnet for family. They keep returning to the place where you grew up having Sunday lunch. This is gonna be that for Sarah and Wesley's family. We have modernized it, but it feels much more personal to who they are. We've had probably too much fun on this one. Hello. His name is Shug. My name is Shug. I'm Shug. You're Shug. I'm Shug. You're Shug. He's Shug. Sarah's Shug. We're all Shug. It's the Shugverse. We invented games. We did. We explored. How fun. Did you like Ben's same time? I loved it. Yeah, Shug. Shug. <laughs> all right, welcome to the Patterson house. Oh, it looks oh, so my good. Goodness. It's so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. I could stare at it all day. Oh, it looks great. Oh, my God. I love it. Little bitty changes, right? Look, Look at so that door. <laughs> Natural wood and white is a classic combo that will always look great together. Perfect. Got it right. Absolutely. Look here. Yay! All right. Those window boxes add so much to the front of the house. It was so plain before. I love that landscaping. We know you had some heirloom plants. We kept those. I see that. Course. Thank you. Yep. The lights are a little bit of a slightly modern touch. Your taste is a little more traditional. No. So you'll see more of that as we go inside. I mean, one of the biggest changes is that wall right over there. I want to see what's behind that wall. Oh, it's good. I cannot wait. Don't wait. Let's go in. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am in love. With what? All of everything. All of it. I'm sorry, I'm speechless. That fireplace. Oh my gosh, y'all hit it out of the park. That somehow looks like it's always been there. I never could have imagined it. I can't wait to sit in front of that dude. Yeah, we're gonna have a real fire, I not know. a streaming fire. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is awesome though. So inside we are leaning into the more traditional style. So you have all new floors. <gasps> They're beautiful. Those knots in them are pretty. The imperfections, that's the difference between modern yeah. and traditional. And look at those beautiful can lines. They're so pretty and warm. <laughs> and there's no more tunnel, y'all. Yeah, the tunnel is gone. It needed breaks and shadows, and the fireplace creates that. This case opening creates that. Oh, Sarah. You Look like the floors? This floor. I love the floors. We felt like the most natural place to have the break would be in the case opening. And it's the richest brown brick I've ever seen on a floor. It is beautiful. This is the most local brick we could find from an old school that was torn down in Hattiesburg. Really? Yes. 
which I thought makes an interesting story. And I love the imperfection of reclaimed brick because no one else is going to have a floor exactly like this. It's perfect. Your grandmother always hosted family holidays, and you guys want to do that, and you got to have a table to do that. Ben, did you make this? Yeah, I made this. We will have Sunday lunch with my parents. Yes. ASAP. This is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, I can make a table. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a cook's kitchen. Oh, Sarah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at the hood. Wait a minute. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. You're indoors, you're outdoors. It's a little bit of both. Oh, my God, y'all. This is perfect. Aaron said that you like blue and white china. Yeah, and I found this tile that felt to me like broken pottery on the wall. It is beautiful. If we're going to have this darker brick for the floor, then I wanted to lighten things up up here. What is this? Is that for That's my for utensils? Your utensils? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Check out the spice rack. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, it's going to be spicy. <laughs> it's going to be spicy. The way you came in the house before was a door over here. And now yeah, I never even think about gone. it. I know. I I have not thought about that door since we walked in. <laughs> that door is dead to us. <laughs> it's erased from my memory. You've got a little mud the room. The brick keeps going. Oh, oh, oh. oh this Look is at that. fantastic. When Suge comes in, he can just dump it all dump right station. here. Dump station. Life changing. This Check is what's going to change your life. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful toilet I've ever seen. <laughs> we, we got another potty. Yeah. And a full tub. No more fighting. Yeah. No more making a schedule. You don't ever have to hear me talk about it again. <laughs> and this was a little bit utility room, but it was also just a little bit of the longest carport. This was such a yeah. better use of that space. Oh, thank y'all so much. Good gracious. <laughs> you got a laundry room, a utility closet. Extra and great. fridge. Shook, this closet's for you. This is your Christmas closet. Is it? That's where your decorations are got. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Recognize it's going it. in the yard. I'm going to put it out in the yard, my guy. <laughs> oh, I love it. The best use of those lights. <laughs> His name is Shug Light. Shug Light. <laughs> Y'all can throw it in a dumpster or put it in your yard. Going in the Going yard. In the yard. <laughs> Going in the yard. <laughs> Without a doubt. Those lights are so bad. And <laughs> the way that they repurpose those things, that's where they were always meant to be. Absolutely. Baby. Oh, look my at gosh. That. Look at that. <laughs> I have a lot of memories on this in thing. shade. This thing's strong. We welded a new frame on the bottom of it, repainted it. That is so cool on the edge of that. I love that. This is Spanish cedar. We <laughs> mimicked that woven pattern in it. These things can get a little bit warm. Yeah. Softens a it's little bit. It's an elbow cooler. It's an elbow, it's an elbow <laughs> cooler. It's such a great back porch you had already, but now it's, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. This oh. is awesome. Look at those leaves. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Baby. This is so nice. Oh, my gosh. This All is amazing. This storage. Man, y'all thought of it all, man. a better use of this space. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun out here. Have all conversations across, conversations through the... Do you see? Baby, <laughs> look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Suge's Grill. Oh, man. Thank y'all so, so cool. much. You're welcome. So Aaron painted this. It's made out of wood from your barn. Oh. Yeah. It was an old gate. We wanted it to look like an old restaurant sign that had been torn down years I ago. Love it. That is so cool. Baby. Oh my gosh. Thank cool. you so much. I love it. My cheeks are hurting. I'm smiling so much. Look how much the inside of your house feels like it is a part of the, the back porch. Yes. I couldn't have ever imagined this. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to live here.